Okay, here I'm going to go over Fusarium Wilt. And what we see on the title slide here is an image of what Fusarium looks like under the microscope. And this would be a pretty high degree of infection. And hopefully on any of the plants you grow, uh, no pathologist will see this in any samples you bring them. Now the identification of Fusarium, it's a soil-based fungus that infects the roots. It can happen to various degrees of severity. So it's not just a one-size-fits-all. We're looking here at very severe cases and here very mild cases. Uh, so again, this can have this variance, which makes it a little hard to identify uh, at times. Where to look? Well, the plant will wilt as a result of the root rot. Leaves will quickly turn from a yellow to a brown and also have a curl to them. When this is noticed, it is advised to cut into the stem and inspect the vascular tissue for browning. Uh, upon inspection of the roots, there may be a red-orange coloration noticed once the media is removed. So we can see two plants here. This is showing that vascular system. You can see the upper portions don't look quite as bad, but especially down towards that soil line, we see that more tannish, yellowish, I'm um, sorry, tannish orange coloration that's occurring. Uh, it can progress to kind of this green coloration and look almost normal to top, but again, that vascular system is infected here with Fusarium. How to prevent it? Well, avoid reusing media as this can increase the odds of accumulating uh, Fusarium and in infecting subsequent plantings. This is especially true for outdoor operations that do not rotate plants in the soil that's grown in. As part of a quality crop rotation, using hairy vetch, as we see image, uh, in this image here, to aid in organic matter and nitrogen fixation, it's a great cover crop, uh, as this can also not only offer those benefits, but also potentially reduce fusarium wilt. It's been shown in areas of outdoor operations that grow watermelon. This hairy vetch, great organic matter, supplement great nitrogen, but and also fusarium reduction in outdoor soil. For control, so once noticed, the area should uh, be planned to be rotated to reduce the chance of building up fusarium in the soil. Just because you see a kind of mild infection one year, don't think that's going to go away the next year. It's only going to get worse. So this is be a clean plant. This is where you're starting to see infections early on. You don't want to plant repeatedly applications in there to get to more severe cases down here. If you do see this, reducing nitrogen in season and do not overwatering can help slow the progression, as fungicides only offer a reduction in spreading and are not a curative measure. So it's important as a grower to recognize this early, uh, do what you can to get by with the closing out of that season, and to know you need to rotate out for the following year, two or th even three or greater if that is possible, to help reduce the chance of getting fusarium wilt in future plantings.